Sometimes corporations declare stock splits. It can be for any set of numbers, two for one, three for one, five for one. That would mean if you were a shareholder, for every one share of stock that you have, if the corporation declares a two for one stock split, now you're going to have two. If they declare a three for one, for every one that you own, you're going to have three. Let's examine this company. So the company has 300,000 shares of $10 par value common stock authorized. Remember, authorized are those shares that can be issued or can be sold. 150,000 shares are outstanding. They tell us about retained earnings. But on this date, September 1st, the market price is $18 per share. The corporation is going to issue a two-for-one stock split. The first question we have is, how many shares of common stock are now authorized? Well, because it is a two-for-one stock split, we're going to take the number authorized, 300,000, and double it, basically. So we're multiplying times two. There are 600,000 shares authorized. If this was a three-for-one, we would say 300,000 times three, that would be 900,000 shares. That's just another situation. This company is offering a two-for-one stock split. The second question, how many shares are issued? So the number of shares that are, well, issued and outstanding. How many shares are issued and outstanding? There are 150,000 shares. Multiply that times two again because now there are going to be two for every one. There would be 300,000 shares of issued and outstanding stock. What would be the par value? The par value of the stock would split because it is a stock split, so you get more shares, but the par value is going to be reduced. This was $10 par value common stock because it is a two for one. You're going to divide by two, so now the par value is going to be $5. So overall, when you multiply the totals across, the totals are going to be the same. You have a higher number of shares at a lower par value. Now, what would be the approximate market value of these shares? Well, the market value was $18. That's going to split also. In fact, that's one reason that a company might issue a stock split is to get the market value reduced somewhat. Market value goes down. That gives it an opportunity to grow up again. So the market value, $18, divided by 2, would be $9. No journal entry would be required, perhaps internal memos.